Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We've got a quick few presentations to make as ever. Could I ask for Ruth and Gabby Pimentel to join us? Round of applause for Ruth and Gabby from Blue Green Design. They're our match program sponsor. Come on up, ladies. Come on up. Now we'll have that right in a moment. Just get to know Alan, we're just putting the uh, programme in the frame. Grab his phone, look at whatever you want. Well, you're very cosy over here, I'll just give you that programme if I may. A round of applause for Ruth and Gavin. Let's have our match ball sponsor joining us on the stage. Please bring us together for Dave and Paul. Hope you come. Thank you. Paul, would you mind presenting now with the bubbly as well? Is that all right? We have a bottle of champagne for the Hot Match and a, and a meal voucher for Nando's. Bitsy and Nando's got the key to go to our Man of the Match. Thank you. Alan, quick few uh, questions if I may. Just, uh, just a touch. Yeah, quick few questions for my Alan. Um, difficult game for the Dons. We knew it was going to be a tough, uh, tough game. Obviously everyone's fighting for promotion. Uh, what was your take on today's game? Can we leave the two ladies, Colin, with us? Sounds like Charlie Nicholas. Spare us one sec, folks. Right, sorry, yeah, tough game today. What was your take on it? Just disappointed, like everyone else, I think, that to go in 2 0 down. Second lesson you're wondering now, to be honest. Um, first attack the score, second attack the score, and as I say, it's an uphill battle from there. But one thing that you can take from it is that everyone stuck together as a football club um, fans, players, staff. Um, that's commendable to everyone involved in it. Um, I know that the manager sticks to his beliefs. We all know what direction this club needs to go in and what direction they want it to go in. And I think that. I say everyone who supports this football club can appreciate the effort that was shown, especially in the second half. And I say sometimes frustrations kick in, uh, people are disappointed, but there's one thing for sure, no one's as disappointed as us. Um, and that might not come across sometimes and people might, I say, get frustrated as fans. And we all understand that because we frustrate ourselves. Um, but I say I know every single one in that dressing room is disappointed and wants to do so well um, for fans and for manager and John Gorman as well. We've been playing some very, very attractive football, um, but just recently the momentum seems to have stopped. Um, is there a problem with confidence or we're just not getting the rub of the green? Uh, I think we've played well enough. Uh, we should have beat Carlisle Tuesday night. Um, anyone who went to away games saw we, we should have beat Wickham. We conceded a sloppy goal. And I think that's different at this level um, compared to playing at a higher level. That, the concentration has to be is imperative from first whistle to last. Um, and sometimes I say that is not the case, but we've got young lads playing week in, week out, who are learning the trade. And um, I think we've all got to understand that the young lads are going to make mistakes. We all know that. We've all done it. I've been through it myself. I still make mistakes myself. Um, I say if everyone can stick together from now into the playoffs, then I don't think there's a better football team in this division than NK Dons. You mentioned it before, we got some. Thank you. You've, uh, you've mentioned before to myself, we've got some very, very talented players in the squad. We've got six games left now. The focus has got to be consolidating in the playoffs. And do you really believe that we've got that confidence and that, that talent together, though? Yeah, definitely. I, well, the thing is that there's no, good, there's no point playing now 
well for the last six games of the season and then get to a playoffs and get beat. Simple as that. Um, there's an art to what people do in playoffs. No one's quite mastered it yet. Um, I know that this club's had disappointments in playoffs before. I'd rather lose a couple of games like choosing tonight and definitely get a win playoffs. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we're looking to do. Ladies and gentlemen, go on.